Hello, Red Devil family. This is Miss Gavin, your principal, and I'm here checking in from my home. As you know, we're still under our restrictions for our safety and our health, hopefully good health for everybody. So we are continuing with these restrictions, but like I've always said, communication is important in every single relationship, which is why we will continue to communicate with you either via video, emails, phone calls. I know you may be getting a lot of emails, phone calls. We're trying to minimize them because we also don't wanna inundate you with too many emails and phone calls. We know you're very busy, and but we also wanna keep you informed on what's going on. So based on the survey and comments that some of you posted on the website, uh, based off of the link that we posted on our website, are just a few items which I'll address. First, some of you are asking about senior updates. So you will be getting some communication in the next couple of days, uh, or maybe by the time you see this video, you will have already received some communication from our district as far as a celebration that we're going to have for our seniors. Now, it's not a graduation ceremony, although we are still hoping to plan a graduation ceremony once all the restrictions are lifted. Please know that for right now, we're not able to congregate with large groups of people, but uh, we have been able to coordinate something between all of the high schools in the district to, for right now, celebrate our seniors. Again, this is not in place of a graduation ceremony. This is just a, a gesture, something we would like to do right now that we're able to do with the restrictions in place. But based off of the senior survey, we heard them loud and clear that of course they want a graduation ceremony eventually, whether it's months from now or at the end of the year, like in December, whenever we're able to have it, that is still the plan. So please make sure you know that we are gonna strive to have a graduation ceremony for our seniors. At this time, we don't know the date for that because we don't know where all of this is leading us. We have to wait on Governor Newsom's directions and see what restrictions are still going to be in place. Also, uh, we have questions about tech support. So if you need tech support, what you need to do is go to student tech support .sweetwater, at sweetwaterschools.org. So again, that's student tech support at sweetwaterschools.org. Here is the website or email uh, that you can send it to. So it's either students or parents can send that email. Now, parents, if you are still waiting on this tech support for your students, you haven't heard anything, then parents only, you can call the number here. It's 619-585-7995. 585-7995. So only parents, if you see that some time has gone by and your student's request for tech support hasn't been fixed, no one's reached out, you can go ahead and call that number for tech support. Again, all of that goes through the district. They don't want it going through the school. All the schools are closed. They want it to go through the district. You also asked for an update on distance learning during summer school. So summer school is going to take place. Students should already have registered for summer school. The deadline to register was May 21st, which was this last Thursday. So if they did not register for some reason on time, you can still contact your counselor. So contact one of our school counselors, your student's counselor. You may email them or call them. That information is on the front page of our school website, but Distance learning will continue through summer school. Summer school officially begins on Monday, June 8th, and it's for three weeks. And students will be engaged in their classes through distance learning. They'll be assigned a teacher for the class or classes. They can take up to two that they need to take per credit. So that will take place. And we're hoping that students are able to engage in their classes. It'll be very important that they participate daily because this is for credit, it's only three weeks. So if they miss any of those days, they don't check in, they don't turn in assignments, unfortunately, they don't get that credit they need. So please make sure that students attend daily and are engaged with their teacher on a daily basis. If you have any questions about summer school, you can always reach out to your counselor uh, in regards to what credits they may need, or if you have any other questions regarding summer school. And you can also reach out to an administrator and we can help you with that as well. And I do want to say that I truly 
again, continue to say this because I do feel this. I, I appreciate all of your support and your patience throughout this process. We're all learning. We're all still adapting. Again, we don't know where this is taking us or how long this will go on. We all want to be back on campus. It's not just the students and the parents, the staff, our teachers, our administrators, our counselors, our support staff. We all want to be back on campus with our kids. It's why we got into education. We love being around them. We love supporting them. And it is our hope that this soon passes. But again, our safety and good health is a priority. So we, we can't put that at risk no matter what. So please be patient. And again, if you have any questions, any doubts, concerns, please don't be afraid to reach out. The best way to reach us is through email. So if you go to our school website, you can find our email addresses there and reach out and let us know what your questions are. You can also call the numbers that are there and then we will check our voicemails and get back to you. But again, the quickest way for us to get back to you is through email. But if you do not have access to email, then you can always give us a call. Thank you, Red Devils. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a great, great rest of the school year. We're almost there. Bye-bye.